believe it's going to sell out. Watch this. You open it up and it's literally like a shadow box. And you are getting in this kit the dies to be able to make this in any form, way, or manner that you'd like to do it. So we're going to jump into this brand new with FlexPay. It's $8.99 to get this home. So Anna, I loved how these turned out because it's like a wonderful surprise and kind of a neat moment when you open up this card. Yeah, it's just like we do for our all-inclusive card kits, our die sets always do something really spectacular, something that, you know, just takes it a notch higher than the norm. So if you're loving die cutting and you're thinking, all right, I want to make a really cute square card, right? It could look like this and be a booklet fold, but it can also be a full, you know, quarter-inch, half-inch box. And this is a die that's going to not only create the box, but we're going to decorate on the inside with a beautiful little lattice panel. So we're talking about having uh, the, die, the die with those inset dies and an idea sheet with the um, technical instruction for creating such a thing. Where you're going to use our large plate system for um, our impress machine, and this is an eight and a half by 13 and a half inch plate system. You are going to cut the paper it's going to do one of uh, many things as that's cutting it's going to score the paper and it's going to cut the edges it's going to give us exactly what we need to roll the box into a three-dimensional um, you know box itself so what happens is that now all of these pieces right there's no scoring board needed for this <laughs> Suzanne the die does everything down to the tabs and what's so cool about that is that when you add double-sided adhesive to those edges, this is what you'll do. You'll roll it towards the center of the box and it creates, once you, once you stick it down, it's gonna create a nice hard um, tube-like uh, <laughs> place that's going to hold all together. So we're gonna tuck that little tab in and we're gonna roll into the center. And what's so fun about this is that I really like making three-dimensional things without measuring and you know that's what's important when we're talking about uh, you know creating this is a perfect thing for a special photo this is the base of the box that it's making right and you can use the die and cut the a, a lid for your box if you wanted to just the same way we just use one of those panels that scored it's going to just go right along the side of the box and so now just like our die Rama dies and our slimline box card dies. Now we have the ability to decorate this in such a way that you know this is what this is the, my favorite. The this little frame has beautiful flowers along the corners and that can go right inside. And then you can add the little lattice and then of course decorate with your favorite stickers and and sentiments and all the things that are in your craft room. You know, if you're going to design something that uh, says, you know, happy birthday, we just want to add that little sentiment on the inside. And you have what is a, a keepsake card. And for me, like, that's what's really neat about all the things that we do. We're always making three-dimensional things. We've been doing that since, uh, wow, 1994. We've been making three-dimensional stationary wedding invitations. And now all these beautiful cards that are made with this die set. So you see that profile on the box. It is so perfect. We even miter the corners for you with the die so that you're not worried about putting this together. You would actually have to measure and cut, and we have taught this from scratch uh, in our finishing school classes. But what's so neat is that now you have a die that's going to work to decorate the outside of the little box. This is a, a five by five square card, again, Add a little gift card on the inside to this. Make it a little gift box if you wanted to. Just a little note or whatever it is that needs to be as special, right? Add that photo right here so that you have this special card. I love these, Suzanne. Do you like, you, are you enjoying this as, well, as much as I am? Brain just goes. I'm like, okay, this would be so cool. Okay, so let's say we didn't use the front. Let's say, 
I, okay, so imagine this isn't on here. I'm just gonna get rid of that. How fun would this be to do ornaments at Christmas time? Because you could hang them and they'd be totally dimensional, right? So you could put a little hanger on the back. You could put your whole message in there. You could put photographs inside there. Anna said too, and I completely agree, a gift card inside here. This is such a much more interesting way for that dimensionality to put like a gift card. You could put, I don't know if you're really feeling generous. Can you imagine putting a necklace in here? Like you could literally, Anna, figure out how you could lay a necklace in here with this beautiful, what Whatever it is, you know, inside it. So it might be a piece of jewelry because look, you get a pretty good thickness there. But I just think even if you take each of these and you wanted to make them almost like dimensional picture frames and you place them at the Thanksgiving table and then people take that. them yes. home, which would be really awesome. Like there's just something about this dimensionality, Anna, that makes everything pop. It, it just tells a more a richer story, I think, when you open it up. It does, and so you're right about the picture frame, making it into an easel, oh, right? With our little easel die yes. from the flower cart easel. That is perfect, a perfect place for a little reminder, your favorite quote, a favorite photo, right, and even you. making this into a gift box with ribbon and, and closing it, it is the perfect uh, square box card. It, it, I just love this, you guys. I mean, I really do. I hope you're gonna pick this one up. Imagine if you're just gonna give a bracelet as a gift and somebody just opens it up and it's super cool. A pair of earrings would look so cool inside that box. So yes, it makes a really cool card. Also, I thought with the easel thing, if you have a wedding coming up and you need to put wedding, you know, table numbers for people to find their tables, how cool would it be to do that little easel card she made with the number of the table on there as opposed to just slapping a number on the table? Does that make sense? <laughs>